Hi everyone, welcome, John here. Today's video we're going to be looking at uh, another way of scraping data from a dynamic website. Um, we're going to be using the request-html library to actually render the page for us in the background. So what it's going to do is we're going to give it a URL and it's going to load up that page in the background for us and render the JavaScript so we can have access to the HTML data. Um, this is a different sort of approach than using maybe Selenium or something like that. So hopefully this will be useful for certain applications for you. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to do this one a little bit differently and I've actually got the short script written on the screen already. Um, well, I'll run through everything that I'm doing with it and how it's working along the way as well. So on the right hand side you can see that I've got my YouTube page up, it's a bit small. Um, but I've actually opened it up and inspect element and then I've highlighted a certain part here. So if you look at where the video is on the page, you can see that it's highlighting the title. And under here we can see it has the ID of video dash title. And here it has the actual name, etc, etc. And also the link to the video. So the first thing we wanted to do is import requests underscore HTML and use that to import HTML session. And then we define our session variable here like this, and we're going to give it our URL, which is the one for this page here. So we need to go ahead and do our to get the session, um, get the URL, sorry, and that gets us the data. Now this is the line that is the most important to understand. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to take the R variable and we're actually going to pass it into this r.html.render function, and that's going to get us back the data that we want. So what that's going to do is it's going to actually go out and get the information for the page and render all the scripts on it for us and then give us that information back in the background. The first time you run this render command it will actually download the Chromium browser. Uh, Chromium is basically just the open source version of Google Chrome so that's not a problem. Uh, once that's happened we need to have a look and understand the arguments that I've put into the parameters into this function, the render function. The first one is sleep is equal to 1. Basically just gives us a little bit of time sleep in between how it's working. Um, I find that 1 is enough. If it's not returning any data to you or something's not quite working properly try putting it up to 2 just to give it a little bit more time in between actions to get all the information for us. Keep page is equal to true and scroll down is equal to 1. Scroll down is essentially how many times it's going to page down on that page that you have given it to load up. So YouTube's a really good example for this because you have to scroll down if you're on someone's web page, if you're on someone's channel page, you have to scroll down multiple times to see all of the information. So you can actually put this up to however many that you like and it will scroll down for you. So you might find that if this if this whatever channel you're looking at trying to get the data from has lots and lots of videos, you might want to do like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten or something like that to get that information. I'm gonna leave it at one because I don't have that many videos yet. The next thing we're doing is we're using the r.html find function. And now this is why I've got this highlighted here. So if we look right here, we can see the ID here is video dash title. And this is where the information is for us. So we want to use the dot find on our r.html that we rendered here to get all of the ones that match this. Now every single video will have the video title ID and we can use that to get the information. And then I've just done a very, very simple loop for item in videos, which is would be our list. Uh, I have created a new small dictionary and the title is item.text, which returns the text from here that we want. And then the link of the item and I've gone for the absolute link, which gives us the full HTTPS link. So if I run this, we will see that hopefully I get all of the videos off my page, titles and links. And there we go. So we can see the title and the link. And obviously this goes through uh, in the order that they're on the page. So there you have it guys, nice and quick and simple. Uh, another option for web scraping that might be useful to you, um, a very simple one, and hopefully it provides some value to you guys. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comment section. Uh, subscribe if you like it and like if you do as well. Thank you very much, bye.